Hi guys, welcome to another video. Now I must say first of all, thank you to the more than thousand subscribers that I got in the past couple weeks. I guess I can kind of say that the last video kind of exploded a bit, got quite a lot of views for it and also quite a lot of subscribers because of it. If you haven't checked it out, please go and check it out. I'm originally from Jamaica and actually moved to Germany a couple of years ago and I've actually never really done a video about life in Germany. Let's call it Jamaican. Yeah, you know, a Jamaican living in Germany. Because of this corona pandemic, it's not possible to travel anywhere. So I think now is the best time to actually talk about Germany because bro, where else can I go anyway? When I was doing my bachelor's, one of my goals was that at some point I wanted to do my master. I kind of made a promise to myself saying, okay, whenever I do my master's, I am not gonna pay for it. So either it's going to be free or someone is gonna pay for it. I also wanted my master's to be an experience of growth. Not just that I'd get a paper at the end of a couple of years. Exiting my comfort zone meant that I needed to go somewhere different. And that would also exclude going to United States, going to Canada or going to UK. Now these are the typical choices for Jamaicans that actually want to study overseas or actually just want to migrate. Because we have family members there, we have different friends there, the culture is very much similar, the language is the same. So it's more or less easier to integrate. So I wanted to be challenged, I wanted for example a new culture, I wanted to kind of be far away from home to see how I'd actually survive, if I could actually survive. Germany actually climbed to the top of my list for a number of reasons because for one education is free here studying here you don't pay tuition you actually just need to worry about like regular expenses and so on probably one of the biggest factors was that wherever I was going to do my masters it should be easy for me to actually travel from this place if you're in Europe then you can easily see like all the other European countries and also get into other countries across the world is like quite easy a new culture a new language so these kind of ticked like all the boxes of interest to me and that's exactly why i chose germany for most people they just couldn't understand why would actually why anyone would actually choose germany because for them the obvious choices were there and why would i then want to go somewhere completely out of the way and then some of them even cited that hey it's a racist country and all that stuff even though they've never been to germany before In 2015, I actually visited Germany on my vacation. I just wanted to see, okay, what is it like here? What's the culture like? I mean, getting around and all those different things. And I enjoyed it so much. I mean, I loved every moment of it. When I got back to Jamaica, then I started the process of actually applying for my master's here. A website that was really, really helpful for me was daad.de and the link is also down in the description. On the website, you're then able to, for example, search the different programs in Germany. It also has a lot of information about the entire process. The application for some programs actually varied quite a bit. Some of them you had to send your documents directly to the university, while others you would actually use a portal called UniAssist, where you kind of just upload all your documents one place and you can more or less send out your applications to different universities. So in the first go, I applied to maybe three or four universities. I got rejected by all of them. And I was just destroyed. But then I said, okay, nope, it's time to get up. Again, I searched for more universities, applied to them, and I got accepted by two of them. And from these universities, then I decided, okay, which one would be better in terms of where it's located, what's the program offering like, and what are the different opportunities for working in the city and so on. Now, the requirement was that you have to open a bank account in Germany. You have to put money in it like for that would actually suffice for one year and at that point I think it was 8,400 euros there about. This would be a blocked account and what that means is that you can only access like up to 700 and something dollars every month. And it's just their way of ensuring that okay you're coming here to study, yes education is free but they need some assurance that you can actually take care of yourself. After my visa was approved, I was like on top of the world because I was super super excited about this new phase of my life. For my last day of work I thought hey a lot of people are gonna ask me okay what are you gonna do now what's the next phase gonna be like and I didn't really want to answer all these different questions I was like hey you know what I'm just gonna wear something typical German and then when they see this then it will be clear to them. Now that was quite something because of course you're not really allowed to wear shorts to work but I mean it was my last day of work so of course they couldn't really fire me anyways. 
I came to Germany in April 2017. And getting settled for me was I think relatively easy because then I already had friends here that they could actually help me in terms of okay the different offices that I need to visit and they could actually help me to get around in the first couple of weeks that I was here. So after a couple of weeks more or less I was settled in terms of all the administrative stuff. I mean Germany is known for that the bureaucracy here is like yeah everything needs to be documented and you need to get yourself in order when you're living in this country. In comparison to my studies back in Jamaica the differences were clear not just because it's a master's program but also the fact that the education system here is structured a bit different and the requirements and expectations are also quite different. Sitting in my first lectures I was like okay I need to research that, I need to research that and after all I had been out of university for three years so there were a lot of those concepts that I had forgotten so that meant that I had to catch up. I do find the workload to be manageable, I mean especially at my university, you're quite flexible in terms of the courses that you can choose. What was also different was that for example attendance at the lectures wasn't mandatory. Now back in Jamaica <laughs> it was the opposite, you know, if you missed a certain number of lessons that meant that you would actually fail the class. So after the first semester then I actually saw how things would be, then I said okay I think I can actually add a job to this and so I actually searched for a job and thankfully I found one. It turned out to be a really really good job because I was very flexible in terms of the times and I didn't have to go to the office to work and so on so those things were really bonus points for me. I must admit that getting a job here sometimes can be very challenging especially if you don't know German. Um, I also didn't know German at that point but Thankfully that job didn't require German in any form actually, just maybe for signing documents and stuff. It's been an amazing experience I must say, I've actually learned a lot and not just in terms of what I learned at the university, I've grown in so many different ways. Just the fact that I could actually travel so easily, I mean I made the best use of this opportunity. Within the first few weeks of being here I was like okay I'm gonna make a goal, 25 countries before my 25th birthday and at that point I was maybe at 11 or 12 countries so within a couple months. I actually visit like quite a few new countries like through this process I rec recognize that I'm now way more open-minded in terms of dealing with different different situations that might appear in my life or interacting with different people because then I've had these experiences so now it's like I know how to deal with these situations and I'm willing to deal with these situations because for me it's also quite exciting to actually embrace the differences and the diversity that actually exists in the world this definitely qualifies as exiting my comfort zone because coming to a new culture where I don't have any family members here and then trying to find my way around it's like I had to learn quickly adjust quickly to different things so that's it about the actual process of getting here I mean if you have questions or any concerns or anything you can of course just write them right down below in the comments for people that are interested in studying here I hope it's been helpful for you to kind of give you an overview of the entire process and for other persons that might just be here for the travel videos I mean you can understand a bit of how I actually got to this point and how I'm able to then to actually make it around the world. It would also be great to hear about your experience studying in other countries or even if you're also studying in Germany it would also be interesting to hear your experience as well maybe we can compare notes let's just continue the conversation down in the comments. In the next video I'll talk about the different culture shocks so you can keep watching out for that I'll post it in the next couple of days or so and see you in the next video.